Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Let me set up my music, my royalty-free music. Let me go live on TikTok as well. So today I am going to be sewing McCall's 8217. A little change in plans. Uh, the pattern I originally wanted to do was this jumpsuit, but unfortunately I picked up the wrong size. So had to switch it out a little bit. So we're going to be doing the calls 8217. I am streaming both on YouTube and on TikTok. Hello, TikTok. This is the pattern I'll be working on today. McCall's 8217. I'm trying to set up my music. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I found it. Hello, Nylon. How are you? <clears throat> Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay. I have all my tools out. Hello, hello, hello. Winter Lady, welcome in. Sebastian, welcome in. CT Soap, welcome in. The fabric I'm going to be using today is from Minerva. It is their viscose linen. I'll show y'all what it looks like. This should be an easy, quick pattern. This is what the fabric looks like, the viscose linen. So, and again, this is the top that I am making. Court, welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. And so I'm going to get started. I think my, I'm going to try to clean off my camera. It seems a little, okay, yeah, that's better. That's much better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brianna, welcome in. I'm streaming both on YouTube. So hi, YouTube. Splendid. Hello, hello, hello. I'm streaming both on YouTube and on TikTok. So if I'm talking to two different screens and two different people, that is why. Hello, Pamela. Let's get started. Again, this is the pattern we're using. McCall's 8217. I'm just going to dive right in. I'll be using my sewing machine and my serger today. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. I don't actually know. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to use my serger today. I have it set up just in case, but I don't think I will use it. I think I could easily do this with my sewing machine. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you all. If I miss your gifts and stuff, I'm sorry. You know, once when I'm doing a pattern, I am concentrated, y'all. I am concentrated. Okay, so I'm gonna stitch the front to the back at the sides, and I'm doing view C. So this comes with three different views. It comes with this cute little bandeau top here, the bandeau top. This is view B. So it's like the bandeau top with a little ruffle, and then view C is longer with the bows. Y'all know me. I love a little bow moment, a little shoulder bow moment. So I'm doing view C with the shoulder bow moment. Um, so that's what we're going to work on today. Hey, Sierra, how are you? Haber, hello. Thank you for the heart me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to stitch the front to the back at the sides with the right sides together. When I tell you this pattern is only three pattern pieces, three pattern pieces. Baby, I'm hoping it doesn't put me through the ringer. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hey, Miss Maddie. Hey, Anna. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering if I finished the polo from the other live on Monday, I did. The polo is finished. I figured out how to do the placket with help from Julian. This is what it looks like. It's cute. It's definitely cute. I want to make another one. But yeah, it, it's finished. Finished and ready to be photographed today. 
I'm quite proud of myself. I am qu quite proud of myself, okay? <laughs> I'm really happy with how it turned out. <laughs> Okay, so we are doing the front to the back. Now that I just took that off and now I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. The side with the dots is the top. This is the back. And this piece is the front. So this is going to be a top. I am making I am making this McCall's top if you see. Good afternoon. Thank you for the perfume. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry y'all, I'm talking to two screens. <laughs> and again, this is the fabric I'm using. How's everyone doing today? I'm just going to sew at the side seams. Good afternoon. Where are my clips? Good afternoon. This fabric is from Minerva. Uh, I'm gonna add a link to my bio in case anyone is interested in purchasing it, but it is from Minerva.com. It is their viscose linen. I really enjoy their viscose linen because it's sturdy. It has some weight to it. It also doesn't wrinkle easily like other linen. And it's made from viscose, like it's a blend. Um, and viscose is a sustainably produced material. So it's actually made from wood pulp and it goes through a closed loop process. So what that means is any dyes or chemicals or anything that's used to produce viscose stays within the closed loop system. So it doesn't go into runoffs, it doesn't go into streams, it doesn't go into waterways, it doesn't pollute the environment. Everything is just reused within the same system. So it's a sustainable alternative um, and doesn't wreak havoc on the environment. Hi, Presto, how are you? Jessica, hello, hello. I'm good, Presto. Yeah, so it's really good for the environment. Um, and it's biodegradable. So if your clothes do end up in a landfill, it doesn't leave uh, damage and waste to the environment. Jada, thank you so much for the heart me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As y'all know, I love sustainability. I love talking about sustainability and human rights. So uh, I get kind of nerdy talking about that stuff. <laughs> You're struggling to make seams. Um, are you talking about like, I don't know what you mean struggling to make seams. Like, like, he like rolled hems like at the bottom of your clothing. Yeah, so um, Minerva is really good with their sustainability initiatives. Jada, thank you so much for the perfumes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Richie, hello. Minerva is really good with their sustainability initiatives, which is one of the reasons I love being an ambassador for them. They really take it seriously and take it to heart. So uh, all their materials are, are really good. So my tip for trying to do seams or um, like roll hems is I like to use my serger. So I will serge the edge that I need to hem and it creates like a, a sturdy band. So it makes it easier when you fold it over. Now, if you don't have a serger, what you could do is zigzag stitch. So if you just zigzag stitch along the bottom edge of where you want to do your rolled hem, again, it creates like a thicker, semi-thicker band. So it makes it easier to roll uh, when you go to, to sew it all together. So those are my tips and tricks. Um, and that's what's been working for me. 
You're welcome. Lucio, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm gonna do five eighths of an inch seam allowance and we are going to sew the sides together. If anyone, thank you for the heart me. If anyone has any other tips or tricks for doing hems, uh, you can put them in the comment. Put them in the comments. We love, we love sharing information here. Minerva, yes, Minerva, I am an ambassador for them. So is Carmen. There might be a link in my bio where you can shop Minerva. But if it isn't there, you can go over to my Instagram stories. So my Instagram is Terrence Williams underscore. It should be linked. Uh, if you like this fabric, you're able to pick it up from the Minerva website. I'm actually on a fabric no buy, so I haven't really bought any fabric for myself. I bought fabric for my business, uh, but it hasn't been much. Um, but yeah, I'm actually on a fabric no buy for myself. <laughs> The fabric that I have bought in excess, well, it hasn't even been in excess, it's just been a lot, um, has been for orders. So, good afternoon. Thank you for the roses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, one side done, doing the other side. And I am using my Burnett B79 sewing machine. That is the machine I am using today. Hi, Javi. <laughs> my biggest fan is here. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for the lightning bolt. Hey, Mary, how are you? First of all, that haul literally was for business. <laughs> that fabric ball haul was all business related. Thank you very much. Hey, Susan. Lucio, I'm good. How are you? Okay. Sides are together, and I can go back and I can um, serge these edges. Form casing, to form casing for elastic, turn upper edge of top to inside along fold line, turn in one fourth on raw edge press. Stitch along lower stitch line through all layers, leaving an opening to insert elastic, okay. So there is a, I marked it. So uh, this top line up here, I don't know if y'all can see it. I marked it is my fold line. So I'm gonna fold it on the fold line and then fold it under again to make the casing for the elastic and then I'll kind of show you what it'll look like. And so it'll look something like this and then the elastic will be in here in this little band. So let me just double check. I'm a, I'm a double tripper, triple checker. 
Do I make my own patterns? Sometimes I do. Yep, that's the fold line. I do sometimes make my own. Have I had lunch? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> What time did I go to bed? Oh, it was late. <laughs> it was definitely very late. I'm just going to, do I wanna search these edges? Yeah, I'm just gonna search these edges really quick. I know y'all can't see me, but hello. <laughs> This will only take a second. Okay, one side is surged, I'm doing the other side. Yeah, it was about 4 a.m. Hi. You're in the market for a new machine. I have the B79. So the B77 and the B79 are really similar. I think one of the only differences is the B79 has the ability to, to do embroidery and the B77 doesn't, but they are essentially the same amazing machine. Um, hello, hello, hello. I'm just catching up on comments. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hey, spiritual mover. Uh, this I got from my local fabric store here in Dallas, Texas. It's dead stock. I bought it all. There's none left. <laughs> There's none left, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Modest Mary, hello. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna make the casing. Press, stitch along, lower stitch line. Okay. Oh, you found one for $9.99 on sale. What type of sewing machine is it? Thank you. We love color over here. Colors and prints and patterns, it's my thing. Okay. Okay, perfect. So technically I should fold and press this, but... Oh, you got the B77? Yes. Adam. Oh, Adami, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm pressing this to the inside, right? Yeah. I 
I do, Victoria. If you go to my page, I have quite a few different videos of my favorite fabric stores to shop here in Dallas. I also have quite a few videos of my favorite stores to shop when I visit New York. So you'll just have to go through my page. Maybe I'll make a playlist, but I have quite a few videos. Quite a few. You're pulling out the serger today? Yes. Thank you, Abby. I am making McCall's 8217, this top. 8217. Thank you for the lightning bolts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome in, Abby. So I'm just folding to make my casing. Yes, definitely subscribe, definitely follow. The dream is to reach 500,000 followers here on TikTok. We're at a little over 100,000 now. I would love to get to 500,000. <laughs> After that, I'll retire. <laughs> Good place I felt. Oh, you hit 500. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's a stepping stone. You know what I mean? We all start somewhere. Do I make clothes for the disabled? So I do own my own website and I make my own clothing and accessories. And everything is made to order, so you can enter in your sizing information, and then I'll make it custom for you. And so, yeah, if you have any disabilities or anything that I would need to take into account, you can just let me know before you check out. People have told me, you know, I'm in a wheelchair, so I can't wear things that are too long that are going to get caught in my wheels. And some people have told me, you know, I only have one arm. Um, some people have said, you know, my, my arms are extra wide or my shoulders are extra broad. Whatever the situation is, you just let me know. And then I will accommodate that in my designs. Uh, but you just have to let me know. So if you're, you're in a wheelchair, yeah. So you would just have to tell me before you check out, I'm in a wheelchair uh, and I would need it so the fabric doesn't drag on my wheels. And then I would be able to do, make it for you with that in mind. So yeah, everything is made to order custom. And the website is Terrence Williams Designs. It's linked in my bio. See, so, yeah, we I try to make everything as um, accessible as possible. That was really important to me when I started my brand. I wanted everything um, to be accessible. I wanted everyone to not only feel like they belonged, but to actually belong. And so, um, yeah, that's always been an important principle for me. Hey, nerd love. So we changed plans today. There's Renee, thank you for the perfume. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We changed plans today. So I actually got the wrong size in the jumpsuit. So we're actually doing this top. It's a McCall's 8217 top. Yolanda, hello. You're currently sewing. Yay. Red Elephant, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kokeshi, thank you for the donuts. 
Thank you all so much for the gifts and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You wear the heck out of my headbands. Thank you. I have more coming in a few weeks. More prints and styles and patterns coming in a few weeks. So thank you all for being so patient. I really appreciate it. Okay. I think I'm ready to sew. Are these the side seams? And this is the back. Okay. Hold on. It's hair. Ooh. Okay. I think I'm ready. Let me take this off. Thank you. Red Elephants again. Thank you so much for subscribing. If y'all have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Join the team. We're at 144 subscribers. Um, you get access to subscriber-only videos, subscriber-only lives. You get a bunch of perks and cool things. You get to spend send special stickers and emotes when you subscribe. So it's it's fun. We have a good community here. Thank you, Miss Tata. How are you? Swimming lessons, though. Oh, I think it's important for everyone to to take some swimming uh, swimming lessons. It's a good skill to have. I want my seams to line up, but it's not. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I folded over and now I'm going to sew to make the channel for the elastic. Lord Jesus, honey child. <laughs> Not your message ringtone. People want to make my sneeze, my laugh. I have people, I have had people record my laugh and say they want to make it their ringtone. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, y'all do too much. <laughs> y'all do too much. Okay, I'm making the uh, channel for the elastic now. That's what I hear. I hear they love it. I was voted most distinctive laugh for senior superlatives in my high school. So, <laughs> Not you need it when someone asks to borrow money. Ah! <laughs> that would be a good deterrent. That would be a good deterrent. I just need to make it a sound on TikTok. So when people make TikTok videos, they can use it as a sound. If I was in a crowd of people and you started laughing, I know it was you immediately. It's very distinctive. <laughs> it's very distinctive for sure. It brings other people joy and that makes me happy. The fact that it makes other people happy makes me happy. OK. 
Okay, I'm making my way around. Slowly but surely. Thank you for following. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Magnetic needle holders. Hey, Coco. Abby, I haven't forgotten about the video that I'm doing for y'all. I have not forgotten. I've just been lazy. <laughs> Y'all want to know something? So I was, thank you for subscribing, Latoya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so the other week I was real upset because TikTok had kind of throttled my views. So I wasn't getting as much engagement or views on my videos. And I knew it was because I had stopped going live. And it felt like they were punishing me. I think it was a perfect storm of the fact that I shut down my TikTok shop, the fact that I stopped going live, the fact that I am part of the creativity beta program and had videos go viral. So I was making quite a bit of money last month or during that time. So I stopped getting a lot of views on my videos. But don't you know, the second that I st started going live again, I started getting views on my videos again. <laughs> So I'm like, TikTok is playing in my face. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the heartbeat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm not the type of person who does conspiracy theory stuff, but you can't tell me. You cannot tell me that it's not connected. I do not believe it. It is definitely connected for sure. Tudu babe, isu bomb. I am making McCall's eight two one seven. McCall's eight. Thank you for the donuts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed today. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the team. We're almost done. We are almost done. I did change the pattern. Um, I posted it up on my Instagram story that I bought the wrong size of the jumpsuit, so I couldn't make it. So, um, yeah, we're doing something else today. What do you, this can't be the ruffles. This is what I'm making today. McCall's 8217. I think you have to get the new patterns online. You can't get them in store anymore. That's what the streets are saying. That is what the streets are saying. 
I wish simplicity. Now, Renee, how far? Thank you, Lori. How far of, is a of a drive is that, Renee? Y'all stressing over new patterns, new patterns that aren't in store that you're just going to buy and they're going to sit on your shelf and you're not going to make them anyway. If y'all going through all this trouble, see, there you go, Renee. If you're going, if you're going to drive 45 minutes for a pattern, you better make the damn pattern. Are you actually going to make the pattern, Renee? I am judging. I'm judging all y'all. I'm judging all y'all. Every last one of y'all. Absolutely. Talk about new patterns are in store. You were not going to make that pattern anyway. You were not going to make that pattern anyway. Hey, he said, Craft, how are you? I'm good. Listen, I hope y'all do make every pattern. I hope y'all make every pattern twice just to prove me wrong. But I know y'all, and y'all ain't going to do it. So have fun on that 45-minute trip, Renee. <laughs> You're going to get there and be disappointed. <laughs> Not to buy Etsy patterns? Why? We are sewing McCall's 8217. McCall's 8217. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. I'll just wait to the sale. I'll just wait to the sale. But y'all want what y'all want. Y'all want what y'all want, I guess. Yes, make all the patterns now. Make them all now. Okay. The casing for the elastic is done. Whoop, whoop. We left an opening to insert the elastic. Now we're going to do the straps. Put that right there. Oh, here we go. These are my straps. With right sides together, fold straps along fold lines, stitch, leaving the ends open. Okay. These are my straps. With the right sides together, I'm just gonna fold it in and then we're gonna stitch all the way down, leaving the ends open. Here are my clips. I like to use clips. Uh, you can use clips or pins. It doesn't matter. I got these from Wawalk. I really love Wawalk. They have super fast shipping. If you're looking for sewing supplies, so pins, needles, scissors. They even have bust forms, rulers rotary blades, um, chalk, pens, pencils, buttons, zippers, interfacing, anything, any tools that you would need for sewing, Wawak has them. And, and again, they have super fast shipping, great customer service. I love Wawak. And I did, when I first started 
working with them because some people pronounce it wall whack, 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 I don't know, every, every, everything under the sun. So I asked them how they pronounce their name and it's Wawak. They officially told me it is Wawak. You just got another Wawak package? What did you get, Renee? What did you end up getting? Okay, I'm doing my straps, pinning my straps. Hi, Davey, how are you? See, if you know how to do a straight stitch, you can do this pattern. You got thread, rivets, and they're interfacing. I wish they had a ambassador program. I would be racking up. I would be racking up. They also have a catalog. If you want to see everything that they offer, Wallwalk does have a catalog. It's free. They mail it to your house. Um, and if they ask you, I know before on the form, they asked you how you heard about Wall Walk. If you order a catalog, uh, put my name, put Terrence Williams or Terrence Williams Designs, just so they know how influential I am. We are making a McCall's top. We are sewing a McCall's top. I'm doing the straps right now. We're going to pin these, clip these, and then sew down. My nose is so stuffy today. <coughs> I don't know if it's allergies or gluten, child. Did I eat gluten yesterday? Oh, you never received your catalog? They're usually really good about it. Thank you. Hey, Shamir. Shamir, I mailed out your um, gift today. Your skincare, hopefully it gets there in one piece, child. Hopefully it gets there in one piece. If you were part of the subscriber only live and you won something, those started shipping out yesterday. So they will be shipping out throughout the week. Um, yeah, those will be shipping out throughout the week. Okay, this is the last strap. It was, I want to do another one. I definitely want to do another one. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, folded this in half and now I'm going to sew all the way down and then turn it. I did make the headband, I did. I do make and sell my headbands. They are on my website, Terrence Williams Designs. Thank you for the heart me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This one, unfortunately, is sold out, but I do have other ones on the website. Hey, 
Hey, Susie. Hello, hello, hello. It's always free domestic shipping within the United States when you order on my website. It is the first link in my bio. Kayak Faith, thank you for the perfume. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If y'all send gifts, I'm sorry if I miss them. Y'all know I am concentrated when I sew. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all want to know what happened to me last night? Y'all want to know the disrespect that happened to me last night, right? So there I am. There I am watching Renee and um, Miss Carol on live, right? <laughs> there I am. <laughs> you love your, yes, Kayak Faith, go get more. Go get more from the website. What's the best gift that helps me? You mean the best gift here on TikTok? Um, a castle. <laughs> Send me a castle. That's the best gift you can give me, child. <laughs> so there I was. Hey, Sabs. There I was watching them on live. They're like, send me a galaxy. Send me a galaxy. Send me a galaxy. You know how they usually do. Thank you for the heartbeat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I was like, you know what? First of all, Renee was like, fill up my gift gallery. Fill up my gift gallery. And I was like, first of all, Renee didn't even know what the um, gift gallery was. I had to explain to Renee what the gift gallery was. All right, so I'm helping Renee fill up her gift gallery, setting her the roses, the perfumes, the donuts, filling up her gift gallery, right? And then she's like, that's not good enough. Send me a galaxy. Send me a galaxy. So I said, you know what? I'll do something nice. I'll do something nice, and I will send Renee and Miss Carol both a galaxy, right? So Renee was looking at the screen. So I was like, this is the perfect time. Let me send the galaxy. I send the galaxy. And Renee looks away, looks down, doesn't, doesn't even see the galaxy. So I said, that's strike one. And I said in the chat, this is why I don't send galaxies. This is why I don't send galaxies. She completely ignored it. So then... So then I was like, okay, Miss Carol's looking at the screen. Let me send Miss Carol a galaxy. So I sent Miss Carol a galaxy. And y'all want to know what Miss Carol's face was like? Th that was Miss. No excitement. Hey, Yvonne, I'm good. No, this is my Burnett B79. There was no excitement. There was no jumping up and down. There was no screaming. There was no, oh my God, I got it. There, nothing. Miss Carol was just like looking around awkwardly. Oh, was that for me? Oh, thank you. And I have the proof. The Honorable Court, thank you for the Forever Rosa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I screen recorded it. I have the proof. I have the proof. I'll show you the video. I will show y'all the video. I was dumbfounded. I said that was the most lackluster response to a galaxy I have ever experienced in my life. And that is the last galaxy I will ever send to either of them. Can you imagine if I sent a lion? Can you imagine if I sent a lion and they missed it? Baby, baby, it would have been a wrap. It would have been a wrap. It would have been done. It would have been done. Oh. I would have shut everything down.
Good afternoon. Does Minerva have a money conversion? I don't think they do. I wish they did. If they do, I've never been able to find it, but I wish they did. Maybe when you go to check out, it'll convert it. But yeah, I haven't been able to find the conversion. Um, at least I don't think. I'll have to double check. <laughs> Not inviting you to my next live. Well, I already told Brianna if she started going live again, I could send her a lion in gifts. She says she's going live Thursday. Okay. So we have that. <laughs> Renee, you would have not shown. You would have. Hey, Chronicles of Harmony. Renee, you would have not shown anything because you wouldn't have even been looking at the screen. So let's start with that. Let's start with that. Brianna talking about, send it to me, send it to me, go live, go live. <laughs> y'all are like, y'all don't send it, send it to me. I wouldn't act that way, y'all don't go live. <laughs> How am I supposed to send y'all something if y'all don't go live? <laughs> Brianna did a week she did a week straight and we are very proud we are very proud you did that week straight very proud we do not take your hard work for granted I'm just saying if you want the gifts you have to show up <laughs> spiritual mover I got you I got you. Hey, Chef Dale. Who else want a galaxy? Who else want a galaxy? You get a galaxy and you get a galaxy. Thank you for the heart me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Adami, if you start going live, I'll send you. First of all, okay, Adami, you get you have two. You have two criteria you have to meet. The first one is you have to go live. The second one is you have to stop supporting Pedro. Then I'll send you a galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Queen Marie, how are you? Not a huge fire in Greenpoint. Not a huge fire in Greenpoint. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you said, I'll never get that galaxy. Never. Never. You said if it's between getting a galaxy or stopping supporting Pedro, I'm going to stand by my man. My man, my man, my man. <laughs> Adami said, my man, my man, my man. Nothing comes between me and my man. <laughs> I'm live every Friday night at 7 p.m. What do you do on live? <laughs> Did he just message you? Renee, Renee, um, uh, can I offer a a suggestion, a mild 
critique, a slight, a slight improvement. <laughs> he knows I was talking about him. He knows I was talking about him. Well, go get your man, your man, your man, your man. So, Renee, first of all, Renee, love your videos. Love that you are making videos. Love that you are posting. <laughs> Let's start there. You went from not posting and going live to posting like every day. Okay, we love to see that. Love to see that. Here's the thing, Renee. Um, when you post your videos, you always pause in the beginning. So there's always like this one to two second pause where nothing is happening. And then you start talking. So it's always like, hey, Atelier, how are you? So when you start your video, you're always like, so I just bought new fabric here. It's like, it's like you're, I don't know, I don't know what you, I don't know what you're waiting for. Okay, Renee, but you can make sure it's recorded. And then when you play it back, you can clip that part out. Like, clip that beginning part out where you're just like, okay. Just clip the beginning part out. Please. Just, just cut it out. Thank you for the roses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, Renee, also, can we can we possibly get a better angle? I mean, um, usually when I'm like, okay, so like when you set up your, it's like looking up at you. Like you're down here, always like looking up at you. Can we get like eye level? You know what I mean? Can you like prop us up so like we're looking at you and not like up at you? Can can, can those are those are just the two things. I mean, I love you know what? Let me not say that. Ah, thank you for my glasses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm being paused. I'm paused. Yes, put the camera higher, please. Please put the camera higher. Put the camera, put the camera higher, please. Please, I'm just saying. Okay, that is my... I was paused because I was about to say something inappropriate and the Lord knew, the Lord knew, the Lord knew. <laughs> Lillian, welcome in. Y'all want video critiques? <laughs> There's no way to say what I wanted to say differently and make it PG. <laughs> I am making McCall's 8217. I'm doing view C without the lace. Right now, I'm working on the straps. And I'm using this linen from Minerva. 
this black and white monstera leaf linen from Minerva. And again, we are working on the straps. Thank you. Yeah, it should be a cute little... Hey, Karen. Should be a cute little top. You're paying attention to what I'm saying? At least someone is, child. At least someone is. Hey, embroidery, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Brianna, I heard you ask that last night. My, I don't know if yours has it, but my Fabriktopia has gingham ruffle. I think. I think they have gingham ruffle. So I would check, don't you have a Fabriktopia near you? I would check your Fabriktopia. Yeah, check your Fabriktopia. We do help each other. We're a good, we have a, a good little community here. We do. It was a, it was an imp. you did miss it. You did, um, Nothing really exciting happened. Nothing really controversial went down. Um, except Miss Carol. <laughs> hey, Darlene, how are you? Hey, Charles. Yeah, we were up and I was up until 4 a.m. Miss Carol did lose a button. She did. She was going off about that button. She was going off about that button. Hey, Will. Listen, it was a late night last night. It was a late night last night. You may have a business gig for someone in BSN. What is it? I know. Brianna said, I love y'all, but I'm going to sleep. Brianna said, I'm going to bed. Thank you for my galaxy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> One down, a hundred more to go. <laughs> I might have to start going live late nights when I'm up and no one's on. I mean, is it going to motivate you to get stuff done, Renee? Thank you, Court, for my galaxy. I appreciate it. 
Yes, I think Fabriktopia is only in Texas. Oh, I don't know if anyone in BSN does manufacturing, uh, but you can uh, you can reach out to Carmen. Hey, Alice. I'm usually up doing stuff anyway, so I might as well go live. Is that not what I say all the time? Who is TFG? Not you forget her actual name, Renee. Not you forget her actual name. Okay, the rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know if I can. I'm making this top. Right now I'm working on the sleeves. I mean the the straps. Okay. Okay. We're going to turn it. Okay, we're going to turn it. Thank you for the perfume. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look how easy that was. I've been good, Alice. How are you? Look how easy that was to turn. Okay, one strap done. We are an hour in, right? An hour in. Freaking kidding me. Listen. <laughs> um, we can try this one. Hey, Belinda. You reached 850 followers. Yes. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm going to tell you the same thing that I tell um, everyone else and what Renee just said, which I have been saying for the longest time, but no one wants, no one wants to listen to me when I say things. <laughs> thank you for the heart me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oi, Brazil. Oi, Brazil.
I'm a natural. Thank you. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. <clears throat> Not a fine apple. <laughs> I can't stand draw. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll take the compliment. <laughs> now you making me blush. <laughs> Not you making me blush, Lord. Okay. Looks good. Two more straps to turn. This is a turner. This makes it so easy to turn my straps. So how I use it is I stick it in. And then I just leave a little bit of fabric here at the top and use the flat side. And I push it in like this and it easily turns the strap. Like this. And it takes seconds. Before I struggled and struggled and struggled. I know, right? I know. I know. Genius. Wow, amazing. The L Cats, thank you so much for the heart me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Game changers. <laughs> yes, stick it in. Yes, listen. That's a story for another day. <laughs> that is a story for another day. Okay. My straps are turned. Now I baste the raw edges together. I should press. I really should press. But we're not going to. Is that Appa Appa the Appa? Hi. How are you, friend? Ivy, thank you so much for the heart me. Abba, thank you so much for the heart me. I really appreciate it. How are you? Hope you're doing well. How is my prince? How is my princey poo? Tell him I said hello and I miss him every day. I miss him dearly. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. I miss him a lot. Working a lot, of course. I'm good. I'm good. How's the dog? How's the little doggy? Hey, Nikki. Of course, Nikki would come in when Appa is here. <laughs> Nikki, thank you for the heart, me. Nikki loves some Appa.
Okay. Second strap. <laughs> of course you keep seeing MD. Of course. You wanted you wanted to go over into the live and say hello to that man. <laughs> Someone in his live, the day that I battled him, someone in his live said I had the most obnoxious and annoying laugh ever. <laughs> That's what they said. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? Okay, last strap. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hi, MD. Hi, Mateus. Hi, best friend. <laughs> I'm good, best friend. How are you? You summoned him, Nikki. You summoned him. <laughs> You're going to make another of the new look top? You should. You should. Pain raw edges of strap to front and back. Did I do a little bit? I'm doing good, King Rich. How are you? Not you love me, best friend. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Oops, I was supposed to put the elastic in, child. I was supposed to put the elastic in. <laughs> Not you don't understand. Okay. As long as you agree. <laughs> as long as you agree, that's all that matters.
<laughs> love, love, love. There's nothing not to love about me, honestly. Hello, Maddie Love. How are you? Oh, I did cut the elastic guide. Let me let me use that. Hello. Bye, Mateus. Have a good day. What did I do with it? That's the question. There's a way to cut your dishwashing time by 50% by Dawn Power Wash. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Nikki. You can replace multiple cleaning products. Try Dawn Power Wash. That's the strap, that's the strap. Oh, I never brought it over. I never brought it over. Sorry, y'all. Thank you for the perfume. Hey, Monica. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, this is the guide for the elastic. I always feel like the guide for the elastic is never right. Like, it's always big. I don't know why. Okay. I'm going to find the opening and I'm going to feed the elastic through. The top. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for the heart me and joining the team. You are member 1265. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for tapping the screen and being here. Thank you. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to do this. Yet. Oh, no, I was. So the team is just. <coughs> oh, sorry. The team, you get a orange little heart next to your name and you get to send exclusive gifts. And you get to rise up uh, in the team ranking. And then, boa no noche. And then, subscriber, you get a completely different set of perks. So, for the team, <clears throat> it just is a heart me. You get to send a heart me. For the subscriber, you get to pick your tier, but it starts at $2.99 a month. And then, you also get uh, special perks. So 
you get the badge next to your name. Like Kayak Faith has the badge next to the, her, their name. You get to send special stickers and emotes. You get access to the subscriber only live. So uh, a few weeks ago, we had a subscriber only live with giveaways and prizes. You get access to that. Um, if you're just part of the team, you don't. Um, what else? <clears throat> if I have a live where I bring people up on stage with me, you get priority access to come up on stage. Um, what else? You get a special discount to my website. Um, you get subscriber-only videos. So I started making videos on TikTok that were only for my subscribers. So it's behind the scenes stuff, sewing stuff. So you get access to all that. People on the team do not. So they're a bit, they're a bit different. You still get the badge next to your name, but the badges are different, and then you get different perks. Thank you for the confetti court. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how they're different. Hey, British flower. Lillian, thank you for extending your subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me see if this fits. <laughs> hey Cynthia, hey Sin. Okay. Okay, almost. Oh shit. Help if I had it on the right way. Okay, this is what we have so far. It's right side out. Let me wear it the right way. Thank you for the hand heart, Chauvin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What did I do with that other? Okay. We're trying it on. <clears throat> Oh, you're welcome. It was fun. It was fun. It's so nice that you do that. It's so sweet that you do that for your community. I thought it was beautiful. And I love Rihanna, so. <laughs> this is what we have. This is cute. This is cute as it is. Baby. Baby. Okay. Okay. I think I want to make it a little tighter. A little, isn't it cute? It's a cute little top. Yeah, this is this is gonna be cute. <laughs> I have to try it on to make sure. Okay, we're gonna make the elastic a, a smidgen tighter. Just a smidge. I am using McCall's 8217. McCall's 8217. It's cute. It's very cute so far. Okay. Hello, hello. I'm good. Okay, we've been doing this for 90 minutes. We're 90 minutes in, y'all. I think we are making... Yep, I'm also on YouTube. Yep, yep, yep. So you can watch me on TikTok or you can watch me 
on YouTube. We're at both both places. I kind of want to take it in an inch. And then see how that fits. Thank you for the team bracelet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm on the road to monetizing on YouTube. So if you follow my YouTube channel, Terrence Williams Designs, you help me get watch hours over there. But even if you can't watch on YouTube, you can always watch the replay. God damn it. Okay. I thought it got twisted. Did it? Thank you so much for the cheer you up. Not Terrence Williams. Terrence Williams Designs. Definitely not Terrence Williams Gangster. <laughs> That's definitely not me. <laughs> Hello, we are sewing a, a top. A McCall's top. Yeah, Terrence Williams Gangster is definitely... Not me. It's Terrence Williams Designs. You just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am. Hi. <laughs> thank you all for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to get monetized so I can get paid for my YouTube videos and content. So... Whether you watch from TikTok or you watch from YouTube, hey, <laughs> it helps all the same. Okay. I took in the elastic about an inch. Okay, this is much better. Yeah, this fits much better. Okay. Perfect. Cute, 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 cute. Very cute. Baby. You could just extend this and make it a cute little dress, baby. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's allergies or gluten. I said that earlier. I said, I don't know if it's my allergies or my gluten, but my nose is stuffed. Stuffed and I've been sneezing all day, all morning. I don't like it. I do not like it at all. I know, I know, I'm struggling. I am struggling. <laughs> okay. I feel like, okay, front to the back, the fold line. Thank you. 
Hi. <laughs> I don't know what my mom is doing right now. I need to call her after this. Okay. I have used vintage patterns before and I do not like them. <laughs> vintage patterns are not my thing. Honestly. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Not pay right now. <laughs> Listen, we're trying to get there. We are trying to get monetized, okay? We just have to speak it into existence and put in the work. Okay, I'm adding the straps. I'm good. How are you? Not even thread the machine. Not even thread the machine. I am making a McCall, McCall's top. Okay. One strap is on. Where did my little dots go? Lord Jesus, honey child. Here's the other dots. Hey, B. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yes, we got the whole government name over here on YouTube. We love to see it. We love to see it. <laughs> That's kind of low-key why I just said yes. I didn't say anything. I didn't know if you wanted everyone to know. <laughs> I tried to keep it cute. I tried to keep it cute. Oh, you saw me last night? Last night was actually calm. Last night, I was actually very well behaved. I was very well behaved last night. Thank you very much. Okay. Attaching the straps. One more, I just have to find my dots. Oh, Lord Jesus, I lost my last set of dots. Perfect. Okay, we're just gonna try to guess. And guess to me. Is 
You definitely, uh, definitely changed it with a quickness. You changed it with a quickness. I ain't at you. Thank you for the heart, me, and joining the team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. Doing two at a time. Listen, it's a bit difficult, but we're getting it together. We are getting it together. You need to break Renee from her not talking in public. So Renee needs to do the Hadan self. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. My nose is running. <laughs> My damn allergies. <laughs> Ooh. I'm good. How are you? Renee needs to find the courage to speak. In Listen, once you start making the sh money, 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 that's what I say. It just takes making a bit of sh money, money, money. And then you won't be able to shut up. And then you won't be able to shut up. Once you realize that talking about your business and promoting your business and being passionate about your business yields success and sales, it you will be nonstop talking about your business. That's just how it is. That's just how it works. Um, I can't. Hey, Sabs. I can't force anyone to do something they don't want to do, something they're not comfortable with. You have to want it. You have to want to be able to put in the work to do it, to make it happen. Okay, I hope that's at the right spot. Okay, we're going to... Hey, Miss Carol. We'll do a basting stitch just in case it's not at the right spot. Hello. All the rest of them, though, we'll do a regular stitch because I know the rest of them are at the right spot. Of course you're in your car. Of course. Of course, she is in the bends. In the bends. Of course. She just had to let us know she was in the bends, y'all. She just had to let us know. Thank you for the perfume. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah! <laughs> 
Because we're trying to get monetized, baby. We are on multiple screens. Trying to get monetized, okay? We are supporting, okay? Exactly. Super fan. Super fan. Okay. That's for A. Based. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you, Bert, for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, y'all, my nose. Stop tapping both screens. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. At oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I'm going to put a casing in, and they're telling me to make it easier, I should baste down the seam allowance when, so it'll make it easier when I put in my um, elastic. Essentially, so it doesn't get in the way. Hey, Steve. Thank you for the heart, me, Steve. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you? Okay. To form casing on the inside, place lower edge of bias tape along placement line, turning in edges to meet at one seam. Stitch close to both ends. Okay. So this is the only... Yes, I do have scraps, and I use the scraps from my dusters to make zipper pouches. So this is the only bias tape that I had. Um, I thought it, it'll work. I thought it would make a fun pop of color on the inside, so this is what we're working with. <laughs> this is what we're working with. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it, but... It'll be cute. That could be used for blindfolds. Yeah, I have pieces big enough for blindfolds for sure. You know what? You're on to something. You are on to something. Blindfolds. Okay. 
Pastor Bland, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for my cowboy hat. Thank you for my Beyonce hat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you, Courtney? Hello, hello, hello. Courtney, where's my lion? <laughs> where's my lion? Okay, place lower edge of bias tape along. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Kendra, how are you? Lisa Ann, welcome in, welcome in. Lower edge. Okay, 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 okay. Like this. <laughs> please go capture it, please. I'll be here waiting. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm inserting the bias tape, and we're doing it in this pretty pink color, just a pop of pink. And I'm going to go all the way around, and then this will create a tunnel so I can feed the elastic through. I've never done it like this before, but it actually is quite genius. It's quite a smart idea. I like it. Hopefully I do it right. <laughs> Hopefully I do it right. Hey, Tajri, how are you? Hey, Coco, how are you? Lord. Y'all know when Coco comes, the craziness is about to happen. Congratulations on, on your sales, Tajiri. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Okay, let me make some space. Now you're still in jail. Coco, this is why you need to become a content creator like me. <laughs> so you don't have to go into work. You can just stay at home and be a cute little influencer. <laughs> no, the honorable court is good. The honorable court is good. It's Coco. Coco is the troublemaker. The only time the Honorable Court was a troublemaker was during the uh, subscriber only live. <laughs> because she didn't win anything. <laughs> and Joyelle. Joyelle's a, a, a troublemaker too. Not all the troublemakers coming into the live at the same time. I can't stand you. I can't stand you. Chaotic. My lives are always a little chaotic. Perfectly chaotic. I will say, though, last night and today, I have been very well behaved. Very well behaved, very civilized, which is new for me. We are branching out into new territory. Look at the growth, okay? The growth. <laughs> Probably because your mother knows. Your mother knows. She's like, yeah, yeah, troublemaker. Troublemaker. Now you're proud. Not you're proud. <laughs> That's because it's a what? A Wednesday in the middle of the afternoon. Wait until Friday night. Wait until Friday and Saturday night. I'll be back to my old ways. With hopefully with some more stories by then. <laughs> 
Did I change up my day? No, so I still go live on Mondays, but I just added some days this week. Just added a few days this week. I didn't go to the park today, but I went to the park yesterday. We'll save that story for another time. <laughs> Mm, okay, we're making progress. Okay, we're about halfway. I hope I have enough bias tape, child. <laughs> yes money money talk mondays still happen every week uh two o'clock central three o'clock eastern and then sometimes I will go live. Well, usually I go live throughout the week at different times. Usually around the same time, but I don't have a set schedule. But I might I might get back. Oh, listen. Hi, Presto. I, I will. Hmm, I don't know. I don't want to commit to anything. <laughs> I like having a, a schedule, but at the same time, I don't know. Sometimes I like to be a free agent. Listen. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, what did I eat yesterday? Nothing with gluten. At least I didn't think it. Oh, I know what it was. I had a cookie. I had a I had a cookie yesterday. That's what it is. It was one of those like big cookies that has like stuff in the middle. That was it. That was it. I know. I know. I had two of them. I had two of them. The one was like um, it was good. It was real good. It was like a chocolate chip cookie, and then it had like funfetti, and then it also had white chocolate chips, and then in the center, it had Nutella, and then I got another one that was like a chocolate chip cookie, and it had bits of like graham cracker, and in the middle, it was like marshmallow. It was a s'more. Oh, so good. So good. But here we are. Was it worth it? Is it ever worth it? <laughs> Is it ever worth it? For how I'm feeling now, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> For what I'm experiencing now, I don't know if it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay. It was worth it in the moment. In the moment, it was worth it. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. Mm. I am working on McCall's 8217. McCall's 8217. Okay. Let me just double check. Stitch close to both long ends. Okay. Hey, Lisa. 
Okay, we're almost done. So I'm going to sew in this. I don't ever change my serger settings. I always just keep them on the factory settings. Uh, yeah, to be honest. But in your manual, do you have your manual? It should tell you. It should give you a, a suggestion in the manual. Yeah, I'm not changing the serger settings at all. I know, I'd be scared. I'd be too scared to change it. Hello, hello. So I just have to sew the bottom of the bias tape, the top of the bias tape, insert the elastic, close the bias tape, hem the bottom, and then this will be finished. Yep, I'm making it for myself. Hey, Winter Lady. Yep, this is a, a make for me. So I am a brand ambassador for Minerva. They do fabric. And so in exchange for them sending us fabric, we have to make something. So this is what I'm making with my Minerva fabric. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping I'll have enough time to finish so that I'll be able to take pictures and post both the polo and this shirt. I finished my order, so now I'm making a short set. Yes, I wanna um, do more shorts. Shoot. What is happening outside? Oh, here's the paper crane. Do 20. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yay! Glad you love the headbands. Yeah, yeah, yay. Do y'all ever look at a pattern and think, oh my gosh, I can do that so quickly. It'll only take me like 30 minutes. <laughs> and then you sit down to do it and it's like 10 hours later, you're still working on it. Of course not with you, Miss. <laughs> not five to seven days to pick fabric. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. It takes me forever to choose fabric for my projects just because I have so many options. Hello, Preto. Not 20 patterns unopened. You like the headache of self-drafting? You would. You would. Okay, so this is in. Perfect. I'm about to do the top now. This is going to be so cool. How many times do I wear what I make? All the time. Frequently. There are some people who wear their stuff three times and then get rid of it. Not me. I'm wheeling it to the wall. Wearing it to the walls. Fall wheels fall off. I just think if I spent so much time and effort making something, and if I loved the fabric enough, and I loved the pattern enough, I, I honestly, when I love a piece of clothing, whether I made it or not, I will wear it every day. I I wear it every day. I don't care. Um, because I love what I love. <laughs> I'll wear it frequently. I don't care if you see me out in the same outfit 10, 20, 30 times. I don't care, okay? Because here's the thing with me. I'll style it and accessorize it a different way each time. So, yeah. I'm an outfit repeater. I am an out a proud outfit repeater. I do not care. I do not care. this little listen that's why I'm like if I'm if I'm making something y'all gonna see it <laughs> if I'm making something y'all gonna see it that's just that that is just that Hi, Gabriel. Gabriele.
There was someone last night who said, I make 20 items a week and y'all don't even see 50% of 50% of the stuff I'm I make. Um, y'all don't even see. And I make about 20, 20 things a week and I wear it once and then I get rid of it. That's what they said. That's what they said. They said, if you want to see me in it, you need to come to my city. You need to come out stepping with me. Okay? I'm not posting it on social media for the peasants. That's what she said. That's what she said. She said, I'm not taking pictures. I'm not taking pictures. You want to see it? Come to my city. You want to see it? Come to Chicago. That's what she said. That is what was said. I said, my God. Okay. Okay. Well. I said, if that's how you feel. <laughs> if that's how you feel. Go out, go right on ahead. <laughs> I'm not lying. That's what was said. That is exactly what was said. <laughs> that is exactly what was said. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, someone's going to see it. Someone's going to see it. <laughs> I wear my outfit during Uber Eats and Amazon deliveries. I know that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the bias tape is in on the inside. Look how nice that looks. Look how cute that looks. The bias tape is in. I'm going to feed through the elastic. Try it on for fit. And then we'll be almost done. Oh my God, my nose is running again. Mm. Okay. We're making good progress for being on live and having to talk and tell stories and stuff. We're making good progress. I've been on for two hours and 15 minutes. So not bad, not bad at all. Uh-oh. And my stomach is growling. I never thought of doing it either, but it creates a channel for the elastic, which is genius. A genius idea. Marilyn, I'm good. How are you? 
We are just finishing up this pattern. We're about halfway through with the elastic. I know they ra they ran over something. They ran over something. Okay, we still got, we still got space. Bye, thank you for stopping in. Dana, thank you for being here. Hello, Grace, welcome in. And we're through. Okay. I'm going to adjust the elastic and then I'm going to try this on, see if I have to take in the elastic or not. Hey, Jada. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Okay. Here are my straps. Where are my side seams? Here's a side seam. Here's a side seam. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Bitch. Okay. Let me let me stop looking at it and put it on. <laughs> Let me stop looking at it and put it on. <laughs> okay. Don't mind the... Okay. Don't mind this, I just have to cut it off, but I'm just trying to get an idea if I need to tighten the elastic, but I don't think I do. I think it fits comfortably. This fabric is pr pretty. Pretty. Okay, so this is... 
This is what we're working with. This is cute. This is very cute. I think the elastic is good. It's not too tight. So this is good if you have like some melons. You know what I mean? If you have some, there's a lot of room here. There's a lot of room here for the melons. <laughs> so I just have to hem the bottom, but this is, yeah, this is cute. This is very, yeah. Yeah, I cut a size large. Is that what I cut? Yes. I cut a size large. I could probably even go down a size if I wanted to, but um, yeah, this is cute. This is very, very cute. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now you like it to wear one time. <laughs> <laughs> Not you like stay away from children. Believe me, I do. I can't stand the little brats. <laughs> stay away from children, please. <laughs> My pleasure. Y'all know how I feel about kids. That troll came into my chat and said, stay away from children, please. You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> you do not have to tell me twice. <laughs> Believe me. Believe me. I can't stand kids. Thank you for the tiny dining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, let me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I've been seeing these TikTok videos about people who are parents. This is the pattern envelope. Thank you. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of TikTok videos about people who are parents who, reg I wouldn't say regret their decision, but they regret the reason that they had kids. Because there's this big discussion and debate about people who have kids and people who don't have kids and how people think one is a bit better than the other, blah, 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 blah. Um, and how we're, as a society, how we judge people who don't have kids or say that they don't want kids. Um, so there are a lot of people who have kids who say, I love my kids. Thank you, Rosalind, for the donut. There are a lot of people who are saying, I love my kids. Um, I am, you know, proud to be their mother. I'm proud to be their parent. But I regret having them when I did or how I did or with the person that I had them with. And it all boils down to, I thought that that, that was what I was supposed to do. Go to college, find a husband, get married, have kids. Boo, 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 boo. Thank you for the paper crane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so they're basically saying, I wish I wasn't pressured by society um, to have kids. Like, I wish that that responsibility was not put on me. And then there are some people who are like, I love my kids, but like, I, I regret it. You know what it is? 
Like, parenthood is a full-time job. I am responsible for a human being. And it's a lot sometimes. The the stress and the worry and how it just consumes you, consumes your life, it just becomes a lot. It becomes a lot. Hey, Lady Roses. It's lots of work. And having to take care of them every day. Yes. Yes, a solo parent. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. So, yeah, there's just a lot of conversation about parents who are parents. And then there are some parents who should not be parents. Some people who have kids who should just not, should have not had kids. But, yeah, it's really about the pressure of how society forces people to have kids when they're not ready or don't even want to, but they feel like it's what they need to, should be doing. Okay. Oh, my mama didn't play that. She said, you're going to have what we have or you're not going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have what we have or you're not gonna eat you regret not having more kids oh wow i've never heard anyone say that why do you regret not having more kids i just don't know if i I don't know. With the current state of the world, I think it's it's scary. I just don't know if I would feel right. It's a big responsibility. <laughs> My whole thing with kids is if I have them, it's not that I am terrified of my kid doing something. I'm terrified of something, someone doing something to my kid because the world is a big, scary place. So you just never know. You just... Of course, the bobbin would be empty when I'm almost finished. Okay. The last thing that I have to do is just do the hem at the bottom and then this is it. I'm finished. So I'm going to quickly serge it and then hem it. And then we're good to go. Good evening. Oh, uh, not bullying. I was bullied in school. It was horrible. Autistic child, the world is scary. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine. I'm good. I am good. Good evening. Yeah, Carmen, a quick, a quick sew. It didn't take too long. It wasn't too bad. YouTube people, I'm still over here. Do I feel inadequate sometimes without having children? Absolutely not, because I don't want them. <laughs> I don't ever, 
replace me being adequate or not adequate or me being enough or not enough on the fact of having something or not having something. Because if, if that were the case, I would feel inadequate because I don't have a dad. You know, he died of cancer. Or, you know, I would feel inadequate because I was adopted, you know, and I never knew my birth mom. So if I put weight on these types of things, if I put weight on feeling adequate and feeling enough on family ties and creating a family, um, I would I would be nothing because, you know what I mean? I didn't have a lot of that growing up um, and I was missing some of that growing up. Um, so yeah, no, not having kids and not having a dad and being adopted, none of that makes me feel inadequate at all. Quite the opposite. Because here's the thing. So say I did have kids, you know what I mean? Say I did have kids, then I would feel inadequate because it's like, oh, now I have to kind of keep up with what everyone else is doing. You know what I mean? Am I a good enough parent? Am I teaching? How quickly are they learning how to walk? How quickly? sees or you know one person's kid is is you know riding a bike and mine can is still on training wheels so then I feel like I'm not measuring up as a parent or you know my kid isn't on the honor roll or my kid doesn't do sports or my kid doesn't do this and you just there's that pressure so then I would feel inadequate that I wasn't doing enough to to help my kid support my kid sponsor my kid whatever it was um and I don't want to feel that way I don't want to feel that way. So, yeah. <laughs> but again, that goes back to societal pressures and feeling like you're not good enough or you're not, because you're not meeting certain metrics. When I was in school, the goal that everyone said was at 30, you had to be married with a kid in a house and a white picket fence. And that's just not the reality for all of us or the majority of us. That's just not how it works there's no timeline and the fact that we thought there was a specific timeline by 30 we had to have everything figured out there was no way there was no way i'm still figuring things out in my 30s you know what i mean i'm still trying to figure it out I just want to be able to do my own thing, live my own life, make my own choices. As a parent, I just feel like you, your whole life changes. Your whole life changes, your dynamics changes, everything changes. And I'm not ready for that, that type of change. I'm not. I'm not. It truly is a kind of selfless act. Not you have spicy opinions about kids. And then I just also have this mentality and this idea that I don't think a lot of people have. I think obviously having kids is a big commitment and there's a lot involved with having kids. 
but I also don't think people think about kind of the philosophical um, philosophical things that come with having kids and just like the bigger picture and what I mean by that is you are hold on let me get situated you're creating a human life you know what I mean you are literally creating a human and I think people like the idea of having kids to say that they had kids to check off a box to uh, take cute little pictures and have cute little photo shoots like and and to to name a kid and have a gender reveal people like the idea of having a child having a kid but you need to understand that is a human life with with blood and vessels and a brain and a heart and skin and it's you are creating life that you are then going to bring into the world that is one day eventually going to die is going to go through the circle of life so having to and i don't think people are very are cognizant of that like the life that you are bringing into this world is going to affect so many different things not just your life but but someone else's life like you could have a baby that comes into the world that cures cancer and saves a bunch of people's lives or you could have a baby that comes into the world and commits you know a mass shooting or something that affects a bunch of people's lives you just don't know. But it's the fact that you are creating life for it to die one day. And then having to explain that. And also having to explain the whole process of life. Because life is messy. Life is messy and it's difficult and it's hard. So having to have a child create life just for it to suffer and and go through all those hardships and go through all the stuff that life is i just don't know if i could i don't know if i could do that life is beautiful it's wonderful it has its highs and lows it is a roller coaster um but i just think back to the whole thing of like you are literally creating a, a human being you are creating a human being that is that is a lot. That that weighs heavy. <laughs> Hi, Austin. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Creating a human life, that's... It's, uh, yeah, it's, that, weighs, that weighs very heavy on me. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, not that I can um, have a baby, but even through surrogacy or, you know, I don't know. It just weighs heavy on me. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it. I, can, I don't know. You don't regret it, Anna? That's good. I don't think you should regret it. It's a serious thing. It is a serious thing. Um, I think you are responsible for their foundation. Exactly. And I think for me, um, yeah, I don't know. I think having been in a situation with my upbringing um, and how I was brought into the world, I understand that it's not always a, a conscious thing that people think about. They just, you know what I mean? Five minutes, five minutes in an alley and then all of a sudden you have a, a baby growing inside of you.
Thank you for the heartbeat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My birth mother was a drug addict. And so when I was born, I was born addicted to crack cocaine. And the doctors, the nurses, everyone said I wasn't going to make it. They said, he's in such bad condition, rough condition. He is not going to make, make the night. Um, so basically, like, don't hold out hope. But through the grace of God, um, I made it. And then they said... Oh, well, even if he makes it, he is going to have so many issues. He's going to be um, developmentally delayed. He's going to have health issues, like ABC, just the gamut of stuff. Um, and I turned out essentially fine. Um, but that even so... My birth mother really didn't want anything to do with me. And she, I mean, she had her issues and her problems. So um, she, I found out, I found this out later in life that she suffered from schizophrenia. And so between the drugs and the promiscuous sex and the schizophrenia, she just had a lot of mental health issues, a lot of mental health problems. And I don't think she ever got help for them, which is really sad. It really breaks my heart. Um, so between, you know, neglecting me and my siblings, they said that one of the reasons I was put the... I guess the straw that broke the camel's back is that got me put up for adoption is she kind of pulled a Michael Jackson and was hanging me over the railing, the balcony, and was like dangling me when I was a baby. And so that's when they decided, okay. That's when they decided like, oh, okay. Like now's the time to like, you know, do something about it. So I, I tell that story and I say all that to say, um, it is a, and I'm sure she, it I don't know. I don't think she wanted to have kids. I don't think she was trying to have kids, but Again, I if she was trying to have kids, it all goes back to the whole thing that I was saying is that it's a huge responsibility. It is a huge responsibility. Bringing life into the world, having to care for it, having to take care of it. It's a human being. It's a life. It is a, it's a legitimate life that you are bringing into the world. And again, I don't think people, I don't think people weigh, feel the weight of it until it's here, you know? Not that I'm saying my, my live contains mature themes and it's age restricted. <laughs> I talk about far, far worse stuff. But this is the live that gets age restricted. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't feel any type of way about not having kids. I know I'm not ready to have kids. I know I'm not in a position where I want to have them. Would I rule it out entirely? No. 
but at the same time, I'm five years away from 40, and I don't want to be picking my kid up from elementary school, and I'm 60 years old, child. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I was in foster care. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then I was adopted. So, yeah, kids are just a big responsibility. Kids are just a big, you had your fourth at 42. You're better than me. You are better than me because baby, baby, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. No, adoption, hey, Cindy, adoption literally is, um, adoption is literally the thing that kind of saved my life, really. Saved my life. Um, it gave me a second chance. It really did give me a second chance. And I will say I am black adopted into a white family so it's interracial and that came with its own set of challenges and it still comes with its own set of challenges and experiences i don't think if you are a person of color adopted into a a white family or or if you were a white person adopted into a person of color family there's just a it's just a different experience it's just a different dynamic um and i've always been very truthful about that because i don't think enough people i don't think enough people talk about that experience because it is very different but i will say despite the differences, despite the hardships, despite the tough conversations, I have always, um, always appreciated and loved my adoptive family, the majority of them. Um, recently, things have been said to the contrary. And that just breaks my heart. Uh, it's really disappointing that people in my family would go behind my back and tell other people that I was never appreciative and I was never um, happy and that I thought they all were just racist scumbags, basically. Uh, that has never been said. I've never said that. I've never... Uh, implied that it's all lies, but hurt people hurt other people. And so I know I never, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't say anything wrong. I never acted out of character, but it's just disappointing. It's really, really disappointing. Um, but yeah, that's, a little bit of my life that is a little bit of my life i wish i could have adventured a bit more before having a kid yes people say that all the time i think that's one of the things that i hear most when people have kid i wish i wish i've been it would have been able to live my life a little bit more before having a kid they do they do I don't know. I get why people have kids and I'm happy for people that have kids. I think some people make it their whole personality, which is kind of annoying, but. <laughs> um, but to each their own. To each their own. You received your headband and you love them. Yay. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sin said, I want to have more kids. 
Sin said, sign me up. I want to have 20 more kids. I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. So, yeah, from my experience, <laughs> I say all that to say there are just some people who should not have kids and we shouldn't feel pressured as a society to have kids or to make people have kids when they don't want them or when they're not ready. And even if they do have kids, there should be systems in place that take care of those kids after they are here because there are white men in power making legislation to control people's bodies forcing them to have children and then not creating a system afterwards that takes care of those children that these people were forced to have, which is not right. But that's a topic for another day. That's a topic for another day. Okay, I've hemmed the edge clipping off the excess threads. I'm going to try it on. This is cute. I'm going to try it on without my little suit, my one onesie. I'm going to keep the bottom on, child. Wait, do I have any pants down here? Do. I have my little. Oh, I have some jeans. I'll just throw these jeans on. Okay, let me let me throw this outfit on, and then I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's all together. Hold on, hold on. This is cute. This is cute. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Let me fix my strap. And it didn't take that long to make either. Okay, so here we have, where's the pattern? 
What did I do with the pattern? Oh, it's up here. This is McCall's 8217. I did view C. I just didn't add the lace to the bottom, but this is what it looks like. It's this flouncy top here with the elastic here and the elastic here. I did the little tie sleeves. You can probably make this one tighter. This is what it looks like. You can adjust it, pull it up, pull it down. So if you want it to be more cropped, you could. It also has three different versions. So it has the bandeau, this is view B, and then this is view C right here. But yeah, it's cute. It's very cute. A cute little peplum moment. Yeah, this is this is cute. I'll, I'll make this again for sure. I will make this again for sure. What do we think? Perfect fabric choice. Thank you. We like it. We like it. I know. I love how it gathers too. I really love how it gathers here too. Super cute. Yes, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready for my tropical vacation. <laughs> Again, I you can't get this. You can get this pattern as a PDF. I don't know if they have it still in store. The fabric is from Minerva. I'm going to add a link to my bio after this live is over. If you're watching on YouTube, I think you can... Got my computer trying to restart. <laughs> I can't stand you. I can't stand you. Uh, on the Simplicity website... Um. On the Simplicity website, it is a PDF. I'll have to double check if the Minerva website has it. I think if the Minerva website had it, I would put the link. Um, I'll add the link. But yeah, on the Simplicity website, it is a, only a PDF. And I'm not sure if they have it in store. But yeah, the fabric is from Minerva. Again, I'll add the link to my bio. So, Cindy, I still have some material left over. I have quite a few... A, quite a bit of material left over. So I'm going to make some pants. I just didn't want to do it on this live. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to make some matching pants or shorts. It did come out really cute, didn't it? Didn't it? I Listen, it's cute. And it, ha it ha hides my little gut. Because <laughs> it's so flouncy. <laughs> so... You love it with the jeans? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how I felt. But it's cute with the jeans. It's cute with the jeans. I think once I once I lose my pregnancy belly, I'll do the little bandeau. Just the bandeau. I think that'll be cute. But yeah, it's cute. It is very cute. It's cute with the jeans, you think? It's a cute little, cute little top, cute little tropical top. Okay, well, that's it, y'all. <laughs> my listen, I I just know my angles, okay. <laughs> I know I have to stay away from the cookies after today. No more cookies for me, Lord. You like it with the jeans? Thank you. So, would I make this pattern again? Yes. It is easy. Easy, easy, easy to do. If you're looking for a good beginner pattern that tests your skills, I think this is a good one. I like that there are three different variations. Um, I did it in linen but you can do it in a cotton. 
a, a gingham, a gauze. Um, so I might do it in. You like the strapless one? The strapless one is cute. The strapless one is very cute. If I when I make it again, I'll definitely do the strapless version. But y'all know I love anything on my shoulders. These little bow details on my shoulders, I like I'm obsessed. I love little bows on my shoulders. So yeah, that's why I did this version. But if I do it again, I'll definitely do the strapless. I did view C. I just didn't add the lace. So view C has a lace trim at the bottom. I just didn't add that. But yeah, I did view C. <laughs> if I make it again, I have quite a bit of fabric. Yeah, I'm, I'll look through my fabric and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. But yeah, I want to do something tropical, like something tropical and inspired. You would wear it with capris. I think the great thing about this top is you can wear it with a bunch of stuff. Shorts, wide leg pants, capris. Uh, but yeah, it's cute. It is very cute. Okay, y'all. I'm getting out of here. Yes, it's great for summer. Perfect. Perfect for summer. This will definitely be a summer staple for sure. Joanne has cotton fabric on sale. See, that's the thing. I have so much cotton fabric. I have so much cotton fabric. I need to use what's in my stash first. But if Joanne says cotton fabric on sale, <laughs> maybe I'll be back on tonight. I know LaShawn is coming on tonight in about two hours, right, Carmen? LaShawn is coming on in about two hours, an hour or two hours, I forget. And then depending on how late, um, I might come back, depending on how late she is on. But yeah, I have to go. I have to take pictures. Not you just left Hobby Lobby. It's time to go. <laughs> now it's time to go. Y'all know how I feel about Hobby Lobby. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Joanne's. I have to take pictures. I have to take pictures in my outfit before it gets late to post on the Minerva website. Hey, Daphne, I'm actually getting ready to leave. <laughs> you came. <laughs> you came just as I was about to go. Send me a castle and maybe I'll stay. <laughs> I will say goodbye to the YouTube peeps, everyone on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate y'all being here. I will be going live again on Friday, I believe, sewing um, uh, a jumpsuit, a little overalls. I'm going to be sewing overalls on Friday. Same time, same place. I'll see y'all then. <laughs> Bye, YouTube.